I'm Josh from our PaperCut support team in our Melbourne office. Today I'm going to show you how to stage and deploy devices using our new Create Multiple Devices feature. So let's jump on in. Here I am on the PaperCut Admin Console in the Devices tab. As you can see, I have no devices currently in my system. We're going to create them using Create Multiple Devices from the Actions menu over here on the right. From this screen, we can download our CSV template. This will download a batch devices zip. In that folder is a template CSV, a readme file, and some examples. When we open the template file, you can see the columns are pre-created with the names. The order of the columns does not matter. What matters is the names. In the readme file are details of all the different columns, the type of information we expect in each one, and which fields are mandatory, and which ones aren't. It's important to note that some devices have specific details that they need. These details aren't specified in this readme file, but in those devices specific embedded manuals. So it's important to make sure you've got the most recent version of that too. The examples folder has some example CSVs showing how to create devices for various situations, such as find me queues and site servers. We're going to use this CSV that I've created earlier. It has a range of device types and even one that will be deployed straight away without being staged first. Back in the admin console, we'll select that file in our uploader. Papercut will read it in and display all the information for us to double check that it's correct. If there was an error, it would show us here highlighted in red. I could then have gone and corrected that error in the CSV easily as I would know exactly where it is. When I click create, PaperCut will iterate through that list and create the devices. As you can see, this Fuji Xerox device has been created and started as it was told to. All other devices are staged and ready for deployment once they come online. You'll notice that these Rico devices don't have a deploy button. This is because deployment for Rico needs to be done from the device. This is one of those device specific details I mentioned earlier. Now I'll click deploy on one of these devices to show you that it does indeed run through and deploy the embedded app out to it. Thanks for watching. I've been Josh from PaperCut.